All right, good afternoon and welcome back to another Crane Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Yes, I just want to start with thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Yeah, within the past couple of days, I've just, well, way gone over 2,000 subscribers, which is incredible for, I think I've been going now just under two months now, I think it is now, which is awesome. Anyway, right, video, very quick one, because it's super windy at the minute, like like proper, really windy. And yes, thank you for everyone who has come over. The uh, The views on that last video, uh, uh, what was it? I think it was a Saturday shift in Croydon. Oh my God, that's, that's just over 20,000 views on that in like a couple of weeks. I can't believe that, that's unbelievable. So hi, I'm Andy, if you are new around here. Um, yeah, I'm a uh, tower crane operator oh with God. 20 years experience and uh, yeah, we're currently winded off at the minute. The, the wind speed's ridiculous. Now, my wind gauge doesn't actually work that well um, and I'm slightly lower than the other two cranes anyway, so I normally judge off them and they're hitting like 45 mile an hour and I can feel that. That's been part of a tower crane operator you need to know about the weather and the wind I know like a lot of my subjects so far has been about the weather but I know a lot about it you know I experience it I can see it coming you know I know what's happening now we've basically just had a storm go right past us uh, we caught a bit of rain on the edge um, on, um, in Brentford where I'm located on this job um, this is my current job um, <laughs> Um, and the wind speed's just been unbelievable. At the moment, it's actually just died down a bit. So yeah, I did a bit of a time lapse for uh, a sh short story. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. But yeah, massive thank you to everyone who has come over and subscribed. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen my job where I work at the moment, but it's here in Brentford. And uh, yeah, like I say, we're just winded off at the moment. So we're not actually doing anything. We're just parked up. Um, the wind is sort of facing that way, in that direction. The other two cranes are quite close together, so they have to watch the distance between them. But yeah, there's been a, been a lot of wobbling around and uh, yeah, a bit of bouncing. You can see the cloud over there that's just gone past. A lot of rain and yeah, it's just nasty, but the blue skies have come out. It's ridiculous when it's like this because a lot of the site you can see they're, uh, they're wanting to work and get on because it's a nice day but it's windy you know at this height I'm up 65 meters I think TC1 that's now gone up I don't think I showed you any footage because the last time I was working in Croydon the uh, the raised TC1 up so I'll just zoom in a bit there for you so TC1 is basically the same height as me now they jacks it up three sections they actually use TC2 which is in the middle to take TC1 completely apart and they laid everything on the ground when they could it's um, you know they've covered it over now so yeah this is like two weeks ago now uh, so they took the crane down and they added three sections to TC1 and uh, put it back together again <laughs> Did it over a whole weekend, so that was a, a long stint for Tony, the other driver, and then Vinny at the far end of me on TC3, which is 65 metres tall. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I did think about another subject um, to film a video, just very quick, random um, videos about all sorts of topics. I've got 40 ideas to write down. It's just, it's just having the time. I'm so busy and I'm so tired at the moment. Our dog actually became really ill over the weekend. We went to Weymouth um, and then Bristol and then came home for Easter. So I hope you all had a good Easter. And then on the way back, well, so actually we was in. We went to Great Yarmouth for Easter, Easter Sunday. We had a sort of a you know a really good day in Great Yarmouth at the Pleasure Beach as well, going on the Rhines and coasters. Loved it, absolutely loved it. So there's a video coming at Coaster Crazy, my other YouTube channel, which is all about theme parks. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, and then that night, the dog, the little dog, Tilly, she became really ill and we got up. She was up actually every hour of the night and we decided just to come home. And she, we ended up rushing her to the emergency vet. So she's, yeah, we, we had her last night at home and she just slept all day and all night really. And then we took her back to the vets this morning. 
So, yeah, it's one of those, it's life in general, really, but yeah, do I love my job? Yes, I do. <laughs> I hate getting up in the morning. Nobody likes getting up in the mornings and stuff like that. And, the, you know, the, I quite enjoy the drive to work. I listen to Radio X every morning, Chris Moyles, and apparently uh, James Robinson's a big fan of Cranes. I'd love to get a mention on Radio X if anyone could sort us out. But, um, yeah, this, you know, the, the, the channel's... It's quite slow at the minute, you know, there's not a lot of content, but anyway. Windy days, what do we do? Well, basically, we just pull up and wait until the wind dies down, which it sort of has at the moment now, as we wind speed, you can't really see it. So I might try and do a couple of lifts now. I was got to take you outside and show you in the back gym and stuff, uh, but it was just so bad. Sometimes it's too, it's too strong to even open the doors. So you've got to be careful with the wind and stuff, but uh, yeah. I don't think there's any point calling this video a super windy day now because it's not really super windy. <laughs> but yeah, it was just basically just to say thank you for the subscribers. I can't believe it. it's unbelievable. I'm really, you know, really grateful. So thank you so much for that subscribing. Um, yeah, it's basically just got to be tower cranes, educational stuff and entertainment at the end of the day. If it's, it's something new and nobody else is doing it. Well, there is. There's a few. There's a, there's a couple of uh, American boys doing crane videos and a few in Europe but in the UK I think I'm the only one. There was another channel who did start and then you know it was quite good um, but then he just ceased, seems to have ceased operation with his with his channel at the moment but anyway my arms getting tired <laughs> on that side. I'll just get you a bit more footage down here so yeah basically what we're doing at the moment well what we've been doing is down there um, building up a lift shaft below me um, so building that up at the moment um, I help out with this core down here which is core B that's core C this is the podium level in the moat uh, that's going up at the moment uh, and then there'll be underground car park going in and yeah that floor that building's going up 18 floors you just see on the side there where it says 13 well 12 13 so that's 14 and then that's going up another god knows how many floors and this one here as well so it's a long job it's about two years i'm on this job for here in brentford on my crane which is a, a yasso j115.8 and there's all my duties chart which has changed because the railway not far away so it's changed to that duties chart which i can't really see <laughs> it's too far away my eyesight's too far <laughs> too rubbish for that small writing but i can see down on the ground perfectly you know what I, what you're seeing now is a bit more zoomed out so if i zoom into what i can actually see it's normally about that i think yeah with me uh wiper in the way but yeah that's basically what i could see but yeah is this the best job in the world yeah i think so i mean like where else do you get views like this other than being a, an airline pilot or a, a window cleaner or an office worker or something like that in a tall building like in the city center of london which isn't far away i can see the shard and everything from here i love the views like the wind it's just the weather it's just everything takes a factor i mean i love aviation so there's planes coming into the land every day as well so if i can just zoom in on the uh plane coming in we'll find it first yeah it's too far away well the uh, center of london's over there shard in the middle so yeah i think it's a slightly better view here than what i had at croydon i, I can't believe the amount of views i've had on that video so you've got the brentford fountain leisure center just down there which is a giant swimming complex there's slides and stuff in there Brentford Football Stadium is just behind me. You've got the M4 motorway just there. And you've got this other job here as well, with three cranes on it. Yeah, so what do we do on super windy days? Not a lot really, just sit here and I'd normally watch a bit of YouTube or whatever. Do me socials and instagram so yeah I, I probably will start an instagram page for this channel as well just for photographs and stuff and i would like to get your input as well so um somehow maybe just on my email um address which i'll put in down below if i remember 
I'll put in the email address there and send me uh, your pictures so I'll, I'll actually add them to the videos any random videos I'll do I'll do a little section where I'll um, add your videos, spotters pictures or something like that, I don't know what I'm going to call it but yeah, some sort of section of the video and um, yeah, all sorts of other things that I'll about to show you what I have for me lunch one day I've eaten most of it anyway I've got a chicken tikka baguette which I get from the uh, Q Bridge station it's very nice, their coffee's nice as well. So uh, yeah, big up Q Bridge Station Cafe. Not sure if it's called that, but I'll check it out and uh, I'll let you know. Do great coffees and sandwiches. But anyway, I'll probably uh, try and do some lifts in a second and get back to work. Yeah, I do love it here. It's a really good job actually. Get on well with everyone who works here. Bit of overtime here and there. Well, so I worked at Croydon on Saturday, well, a couple of Saturdays ago. Had all of Easter off, so yeah, we don't work bank holidays and things like that. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's good to have that time off. And other people will ask a lot of questions. I've had so many questions about um, the toilet, but yeah, I basically uh, a wee in an empty bottle. I think I've got a couple of spare ones here. Make sure they're, they're empty. <laughs> But yeah, a bottle like this one, and then uh, when it's full, or when a couple of them are full, pop it back in my bag, and then um, empty it in the toilets downstairs on the side. So uh, yeah, if I need to go for a number two, which is actually quite rare, believe it or not. Like I said, um, start when I started the channel, I train my body not to go for a number two while I'm up the crane. So if I do have like a bit of stomach upset or anything like that from something I've eaten I just tell them I'll just come down down to the toilet and come back up again so not a problem anyway right questions and stuff keep firing out the questions and then I'll remember to try and remember the best questions mainly it's normally about the toilet it's like where do you go for it are we in a bottle one of my friends called Loz actually had tattooed on his arm a tower crane and it just says in a bottle so there you go Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this very short video. I mean, the weather is awful. You can see the uh, clouds over there towards Croydon, actually. Not looking too good. Always looking out for the weather, like the side here as well is not looking great. Hang on, I'll tell you what, I'll just show you what it's like when I slew around. So I am downwind at the minute, so obviously it's not as bad. Do I feel the crane wobble? Yeah. In, in high winds, like the crane over there is block swinging quite a lot. Yeah, there's some side here. So when I'm slewing around, I can feel I can feel the resistance of the wind. The crane can take it. I mean, it's good for over 100 mile an hour. You just see the rain coming in now. Just follow me block as well. Because I don't want to put a massive swing in there. Yeah, wild, absolutely wild. absolutely wild so I just keep knocking the uh, the slew and the brake off just to keep it steady because if I put the brake on it will just start swinging and the alarm's going off now <laughs> that's 32 oh yeah it's like being on an apocalypse wow look at his rope there and his block yeah that's bad now bad I'm glad I uh, carried on filming for a little bit longer. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Do I get scared up, up the crane? Yeah, I do, yeah, sometimes. When I can see a massive, massive storm on the way. Uh, bouncing like crazy now. If it gets too bad, it will actually come down. You know, if there's a safe point about 60 mile an hour, I'd, I'd normally come down the crane. Whew. But yeah, sometimes it does get airy. <laughs> God, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh man! I tell you what, the uh, the iPhone quality on a nice day you can't beat beat it really. But yeah, I do obviously use GoPros when I'm doing it properly. But it's just that we're not working at the minute, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's probably been about an hour since we winded off. All my computers here, telling me 
Wait. Yeah. Yeah, Vinny, I can really hear it, mate. I can, well, hear it. I can feel it as well. So, yeah, you can hear it, in, you know, because of the windows and stuff. But, yeah, Vinny's TC1 just said he's got 47, so, yeah, we're not we're not lifting for a while. But, yeah, there you go. I'm going to finish the vlog up now. Yeah, keep firing out the questions. <laughs> keep subscribing. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Do it on the side there. Oh, they're like, like now it's really bouncy, really bouncy. So I just keep knocking the brake off and making sure that I let the crane go where it wants to go. Really, um, they are very safe. They are very safe. But I'll go into details about things, you know, <laughs> that we don't tend to talk about in the crane industry. But I will go into detail in a video um, about that. But uh, there you go. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Remember, stay safe. Oh God. Yeah, 30 minutes later I'm still winded off. Still got a nice view though. Right, so I've actually just turned you back on again. I've just edited the bit that you've just watched. You saw that last bit. It, it's got really bad now. Uh, we're getting into the 50s now. I actually slewed the crane round to look at this cloud that's coming in front of me here. It, I think it's going past because the wind's blowing uh, whatever direction that is, uh, north, uh, I don't know, sort of sort of north it's blowing, I think. <laughs> well, it's blowing towards that really nice tall tower anyway in the distance. But yeah, it's so bad. I, know, I, I knew that we, we should have literally taken the chains off the crane locked up uh, and then come down put the cranes in free slew and then come down um, it's yeah it's pretty bad now <laughs> but yeah we get days like this like if it's early in the morning we know it's going to be bad then we wouldn't bother climbing but now we're up the crane uh, a lot of sites can obviously see you still up the crane and they're, they're wanting lifts doing you know there's still concrete to be done deliveries turning up every sort of hour or so I think there was like a wagon, yeah, there's a wagon of steel down there. Um, I don't think that's got to get done today. It's not at the moment anyway. And then they're pouring that core there. See the lad stood on the top. So they're pouring that core. Um, and then they need to blow it out, um, the, the pump. So the pump's down. Uh, it's, it's quite hard to show you sometimes. That there. The white thing at the back, uh, at the bottom, that's a pump, concrete pump. So a wagon will actually back onto that. You see the foam's wobbling because I'm wobbling now. <laughs> um, but yeah, a wagon, the concrete wagon will, will back onto that little pump there. Well, say little, it's about four or five ton that thing. And it shoots concrete through a pipe and then up the building up to the top to the core to the lads to fill it in and it'll end up looking like that when it's done, all made of concrete. So they need to blow it out. But yeah, you can see the clouds there now. That's what I was looking at anyway. You can see it's clearing up at the back. But as that as that storm just come across, then it just like I said, we just gusted about 50 mile an hour. Then <laughs> what time is it? It's just coming up to two o'clock in the afternoon now. So it is uh, it is Wednesday today. Oh god, yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty wild now. Just try to figure out the angles as well that I need to use with the foam because obviously I'm just holding it in my hand. Um, I think I'm zoomed in, or oh, zoomed out too much when I'm talking to you face on. So I'm zooming in a bit just in the edits just to make it look crisper. <laughs> oh yeah, it's... Um... Yeah, it's not good. The weather is not nice today. Such a shame because we have had some nice weather recently and then, you know, you know what it's like living in the UK. It just sometimes I wish that I was able to like go over to LA or Florida just for a year and work out there or even Canada. I, I would love that. I, I would, even if it was on like a, a scholarship through my company to, you know, send me on another job. 
elsewhere for a bit, I don't know, just to get out of the UK because I, I like it when it's nice yeah, weather yeah, and I like to work. Uh, it's just unbelievable at the moment, the other two cranes are bobbing around, they're trying to get this pump sorted out or whatever it is they need moving. Yeah, there's a, there's a wagon, the concrete just turned up down here but they're doing a, a base. That's what I was saying about on building sites and even starting um, what do you call it, uh, new rides and stuff in parks. So you start with a base on the ground, so they put all the steel rebar down and they just pour it with concrete. So that's your, that's your base. Oh God, it's wild, man. Absolutely wild. It, it really does get to you sometimes. Oh my God, the crane's just, it's just bouncing. All, all three cranes are going like proper mad at the minute. Yeah, I think it's time to abandon ship. Yeah, so it's still really bad here in the minute with this wind. Um, yeah, we're contemplating and actually taking the chains off and coming down. Uh, that Again, that last clip was probably about 10 minutes ago. Um, I have actually gone onto an app that I've got, Living Earth it's called, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm really geeky again with the weather and stuff, so it actually shows you a, a globe in 3D and like living uh, clouds and like storms and everything it's just it's it's a really good app it's worth getting living earth anyway i've just had a look on it and it looks like the uk at the moment is getting some sort of like mini sort of hurricane it's really crazy with the uh, with the clouds swirling and i've just had a, a, a picture now so you can see that so like, obviously in the middle of the screen you, what you're looking at is the uk and around the clouds are um yeah it is what, what we're getting at the minute coming in from the um from the from that image there so uh, yeah anyway right i'll keep you posted but i think i'll probably if i end it and end it and then that's it you'll know but yeah this is some mad weather in a minute i just happen to keep moving the crane every so often because the wind will try and wanting to push it either way i should have it in free sloop but as long as i know which direction the wind's actually blowing then i'll, I'll just keep the, the crane facing uh, downwind it's it's much safer to have it that way Sometimes I drop a little bit of tissue out of the window just to see which way the wind's blowing, but it is that way. I can I can guarantee it. It's uh, it's not it's not good at the minute. Anyway, I'll see you later. Right, so we're actually abandoning ship now. I've called through on the uh, radio to the other cranes, so uh, the chains are off now, and we're actually coming down. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I know I've had the comments, and yeah, I've been doing this like. 17 years but 20 years experience there's like the, we just had a gust a minute ago and I'm, I'm, I'm waiting in between gusts so I can actually open this door and get down uh, but I just had a gust one of the scariest sort of experience I've had up the crane ever this this crane rocks around quite a lot uh, with it being 65 meters um, yeah <laughs> it was a bit hairy like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie but uh, yeah it's it's pretty bad in the minute the uh, signs flowing around oh, the whole crane is just bouncing around so I'm just waiting for a moment so I can actually open the door and it just oh. <laughs> I made it down all right actually I, I had to hang on a couple of times there oh god it's just unbelievable like most cranes that I, I operate are pretty stable and they don't actually move that much the two luffers on the other side are, are pretty stable 
and don't obviously move that much uh, compared to something like I operate. It was just, oh, not great. <laughs> But that's what we do, I'll probably end up going and sitting in the canteen now, get a brew and uh, see where we can go and, and that's it. But yeah, if you like this one, give it a good thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.